Let's rank the top 10 quarterbacks going into the 2024 season. At number 10, I have Brady Cook. I think this dude is massively underrated in the college football scene. With an elite weapon like Luther Burden, I think he'll put up crazy stats this year. At number nine, we have Cam Ward. I know sometimes he can have a turnover problem, but like we watched in the spring game, football just looks like it's slow-mo in his brain. He can process everything so quickly. At number eight, I have Jalen Milrow. Probably the hardest quarterback to rank. At his highs, he is top three. And at his lows, he's not even top 25. I do think he has elite traits though. At number seven, I have Quinn Ewers. And I know, I will say, this was splitting hairs between all these quarterbacks up here. He does have injury concern though. Another injury riddle person is Jalen Daniels. But when this guy is on the field, you never see a bad moment for him. At number five, I have Noah Fafita. He honestly could be number one at the end of this year. This dude is so talented. At number four, we have Carson Beck. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate, but he is just not a playmaker. He's probably the best quarterback in the pocket, but in college football, you need a playmate. And he doesn't do that at an elite level. But again, it's splitting hairs. At number three, we have Shadur Sanders. Take away all the noise. Shadur is still a very great quarterback. His capability can throw on the run. At number two is Jackson Dart. I might be a little high on Jackson Dart, but I am a believer in him. I really do think he can make a Heisman run this year and push Ole Miss to a national championship game. And at number one, I have the Oklahoma transfer to Oregon, Dylan Gabriel. This guy is absolutely elite and was pretty slept on this last year. He single-handedly beat Texas, which was a playoff team. And now he's going to an even better team. This is one big issue for me though. He has a hard time pushing the field vertically. But if we saw last year with Bo Nix, Oregon doesn't really push the ball vertically all that much. So we'll play right into Dylan Gabriel's hands.